Hey guys, Wade here. Got some really, really important news to talk about in this video. Let's get the housekeeping out the way. Smash that like button for me. Let's build this network. Now we're going to get right into this conversation. This is Larry Fink, the CEO and owner of BlackRock. BlackRock is the largest asset manager on this planet. Why am I talking about BlackRock? Well, they just backed USDC Circle to the tune of $400 million. And then 24 hours later, they came out and stated that they now control the reserves of 50 billion in USDC. Guys, I need to express to you how important this is, okay? We have been monitoring the progression of USDC since last year, all right, guys? We, I said that this was coming the first time that they made the blog post about them wanting to become a bank, all right? The age of the paper dollar is dead. And this, these, these stories that I have for you in this video confirm that, all right? So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this information. All right, guys, so the first place we're starting, BlackRock invest in Circle to explore USDC stablecoin for capital markets. Mm, 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 mm. Just like the headline says, guys, this is big. So this was posted yesterday, but the issuer of the USDC stablecoin announced a $400 million funding round. It includes BlackRock, Fidelity, Marshall Waste, and Fin Capital. This next sentence really is what really pulled me even deeper, guys. Circle is planning to be listed publicly much like a Coinbase situation, through a special purpose acquisition corporation deal, that's what a SPAC means, uh, with the latest agreement in February, upping Circle's evaluation to $9 billion. Target transaction date, December 22nd, 2022. Told you guys, 22 is a very powerful number, guys, and it is not a coincidence that we see companies, corporations, institutions, events, so forth and so on, align with these dates. Now, current market, market capitalization of the USDC stablecoin is around $50 billion, down from $53 billion in late February. Market capitalization often fluctuates depending on uh, supply and demand metrics of that nature. But this announcement featured significant news that BlackRock plans to explore capital market applications for USDC. The investment company has $10 trillion in assets under management. Circle previously stated that it does intend to become a bank. And if it were to be involved in large-scale transactions with BlackRock, it's far more likely it would need to have a Federal Reserve account. What we're seeing is USDC being positioned to become the replacement, all right? A lot of people like to bring up the fact that Bitcoin might become a reserve currency. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be. You can back stable coins to Bitcoin, Terra is doing that, but these stable coins ag algorithmically can be backed to anything. That's what we're getting at here, all right? Now, USDC in particular, most of their reserves are backed with, um, there's a little bit of commercial paper, but I believe most of their assets are physical, one-to-one -one with dollars. So that's what makes them the closest proponent to usher in this transition. The next piece of information I wanna share with you, it involves the DTCC. Now, why this is just as massive, guys, is because what BlackRock does on the top layer, the DTCC will settle that transaction. And what is the DTCC looking to do as soon as this year? They're looking to trial US CBDCs for stock settlement. All right, this is the digital dollar project, guys. Now, the details of this are still developing, but I have a couple videos on the channel and I'll link those in the end card of this video so that way you can check them out. But what they are is the initial rollout 
for Project Ion, okay, and Project Lithium. I captured a conference or a meeting, Zoom meeting, that they had on their YouTube channel that explains their process and their plans to implement this new technology. Now, the DTCC, the world's largest security settlement organization, has announced plans to test a tokenized central bank digital currency prototype for settling stocks using blockchain. Originally, the news was that this was going to take place on Ethereum, but they have since then changed their mind about that, obviously. There hasn't been any other blockchains that have been um, known to work with them as of yet. However, they are very closely tied with the Hyperledger Foundation. On top of this, the reason why I gave you the BlackRock USDC circle story first is because this gives them another player to use, all right? And this is what ties it back to some of the assets that we hold. How many blockchains does USDC circle possess or they're connected to? It's only about eight or so, seven or eight. Those seven or eight we are very familiar with, aren't we? Stellar Lumens. Algorand, HBAR, Tron, Solana. You see what I'm getting at here. So with the largest asset manager in the space getting into USDC Circle's back pocket with the intention of bringing stable coins to capital markets, that opens up a couple different channels here for investment, guys. What they're looking to do is build the payment rails that we know that is required for this ISO messaging standard. That is why when I saw the date listed that they chose to finish this, December 22nd of 2022, those standards guys are kicking in a month prior to this. All right, now, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into this story because there's a particular player that we are all too familiar with also involved in this digital dollar project. That player is Accenture. Okay, now Accenture has already been involved in five different digital dollar projects. All right, one of them we know of as being the ISO 20022 conversation with their relationship with Hyperledger. We also know that they're working with the University of Cambridge on a digital, digital dollar project, which also incorporates XRP. You see what I'm getting at here. So this is coming together at a time where we knew that a US CBDC was on the horizon, especially since Joe Biden laid down that executive order urging governmental bodies to start researching and implementing digital dollars. The culmination of that, guys, that's what we're looking at here. Now, let's finish this out. As the other Wholesale CBDC trials, the test will explore enabling atomic settlement where the stock and cash are simultaneously exchanged between two participants, reducing counterparty risk. The post-trade project will use a DLT clearing and settlement infrastructure to enable delivery versus payment. Now, I do know that the DTCC is very close with R3. OK, so if you know who is in association with R3, we could be looking at XDC. All right. Now, of course, this is not I'm not pinning anything on any of these projects just yet. This information I'm bringing to you guys just to make you aware that a switch has been flipped. <laughs> All right. Now, this project, Project Lithium represents the next step in our exploration of DLT tokenization and other emerging technologies, said Jennifer Peeve, Managing Director, Head of Strategy and Business Development for the DTCC. Project Lithium will lay the groundwork for the financial community to better evaluate the impl impl implications of a CBDC across the trade life cycle as interest in this style of funding continues to grow. So, now, 
the U.S. is getting into the CBDC conversation, and they're using one of the biggest, well, not one of, the biggest stock settlement players in the space, guys. Again, when you look at my videos on the DTCC, I break down the history of who they are and why their place in this industry is highly significant. All right. I remember hearing a while back, I want to say uh, around last year, crypto teacher would say that the stock market is on its way to becoming tokenized. Ever since he said that, I've seen little bits and pieces of how that could come into play. So guys, this is very big. This is very big for the industry. This is a fundamental advancement that we need for this payment transition to roll out. Now, if you would like more information on the DTCC, like I said, those videos will pop up here, guys. This, these type of situations is why I put that phrase together. And I always pair it with this following notion. Have a great day. Have a pros prosperous day. And most importantly, if that money is digital, so is the hustle. I'll see y'all in the next one.